Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Solinix Crypto. I hope you're all doing great. Uh, and welcome to this new video on Solana. Um, wanted to do a quick update on that. I mean, as most of you know, I've been on a vacation for the last uh, one and a half weeks, or at least I, I came back two, two days ago, but um, I, I did not make videos that day. And yesterday I made some videos. Uh, but all right, so I just wanted to do an update on Solana right now. I mean, Solana has obviously suffered quite a bit, but um, overall, I mean, I think if you compare uh, Solana to Bitcoin, I think it has actually done fairly well um, right here. You can see that Solana against Bitcoin has been pretty stable. And before that, like uh, in, in, in July, it was very, very bullish when Solana was very, very bullish. All right. So overall, Solana is performing relatively well against Bitcoin. Obviously, it depends on, on which time frame you look at. I mean, if you take a look at the last two years, it has performed horribly, but still. Uh, so I just wanted to make a, a, a quick video, a quick update on that. Uh, we'll go over the technicals mainly, perhaps some fundamentals, but we'll still have to see about that. And, uh, and in the end, hopefully you're optimally prepared for everything that can happen. So that's what we'll do. Uh, before we dive into that, I do want to mention that I have my own premium trading group as well, in which I share my own trades, both long-term portfolio holds, uh, but also short-term trades, really. Uh, and you also gain access to a trading guide and an exclusive chat room full of traders. Uh, so if that sounds interesting, if you want to become a better and more profitable trader, check out the links down in the description or the pinned comments, and there you'll find out how to join. Uh, but for now, on to, uh, now on to Solana. So... After the crash last week, we have for sure turned bearish. Uh, all right, the EMAs right now are sloping down. Before that, we were still consolidating between 22.5 and 25.5. Uh, but now we are bearish. There, there, there is a, a potential to get into another uh, consolidation. But that's also kind of what I wanted to talk about. Because if you take a look at Solana right now, uh, you can see that we found support at a significant support level right here around twenty dollars which is a big i mean it's a it's a strong normal key level uh, but it's also strengthened by the psychological aspect of it being twenty dollars uh, so we found support there and what we're also seeing even though i mean it's, it's not that clear yet but bitcoin is holding its range which is a, a very minor reason to assume that it's getting a bit stronger so altogether right now with, with solana the thing is, is that there's this very minor level right here. I would say between 20.75 and $21, which we are struggling with right now. I would say this support level right here is strong enough to uh, at least make us break above that. And therefore, I do expect movements up towards like $22. I don't expect much more. I mean, if Bitcoin gets very bullish and gets up to like 27000 again, then Solana is able to get up towards 22.5 and 23 dollars, but that is really the maximum. I think overall, uh, the bearish momentum we had last week and the bearish confirmations slash breakouts we had then uh, are not going to be recovered uh, easily. I, I don't expect Bitcoin to become bullish all of a sudden right now. Um, so I don't expect Solana to break above our main resistance level around 23 dollars and 22.5. I think we can get there. The more bullish Bitcoin, the higher Solana we can, uh, can get. But apart from that, I, I, I don't expect much more. I mean, I think we can, I think right now we can actually expect some more bullish momentum, but then we'll just find resistance there and drop back down towards $20. And that's what I said. I do expect some sort of a consolidation for now. If at some point of time, $20 is not going to give us enough support anymore, but I'll keep you updated on that. Then we might have to start talking about a drop down towards $18. But, uh, but, but for now, I do think we or I do think Solana is able to hold that $20 level uh, and it can even get some, some bullish momentum from that on the short term. Uh, but that's my take on it for now. So if you do have any questions, then let me know down in the comments. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a great day and bye.